This week I'm living out my best childhood fantasy. I'm feeling like a pink Power Ranger, honey. I always wanted to be the pink Power Ranger. Let's just get into these readings, honey. Hey girl. <laughs> my pink Power Ranger powers are just too much for this singing ball. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka. And today, my beautiful Leo, I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week. Now, Leo, when it comes to any of my tarot readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Leo, because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate, Leo, and leave what doesn't, because I promise you, Leo, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Uh, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Leo, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below how they resonate with you. Uh, because that's how I keep up with y'all, see the comments, right? So, uh, and also, if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Leo, I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra step to support my tarot channel by giving this video a like and subscribe, um, or my channel a subscribe, I guess, in this video a like, Leo, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Leo, and I am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. Um, and then, do we get, do we pull on the cards? Yeah. Um, and then the last thing I want to say, Leo, is that I don't feel like any tarot card, any tarot reading should be making decisions in your life, Leo. I feel like the tarot cards are here, tarot readings are here to give a perspective for you, but never making a decision in your life. Um, because it's your life to live, Leo, not mine, not these tarot cards, not any tarot readers. So, uh, let's just get into your reading now, my beautiful Leo. Uh, for some reason, I just did Aries, Leo, but, um, y'all know how much I say y'all Zodiac's name. So I feel like I called y'all Leo accidentally at some point, if I, <laughs> but, um, and I did, if I did, I apologize. Um, but Leo, let's get into your reading now. I'm doing a different format now, Leo. Um, we're going to be doing, this is like the objective card, what it is that you're going to be working on this week, working towards this week. This could be what it is that you need to be embodying, right? Or the archetype to strive towards. Um, this could just be the overall energy this week, right? We'll just see with these cards and these clarifiers. So um, we have the Ten of Rings coming in for you. Now, this is a beautiful card because this is the Ten of Pentacles. And so, spoiler alert, Leo, before you even get into this, right, you do have Ten of Pentacles twice for you. So I bring this up because it's I find this to be an extremely exciting thing for you, Leo, because the Ten of Pentacles is kind of like having your cake and eating it, too. This is one of those times where, Leo, a lot of people that are experiencing this type of energy, especially if they've been going through some struggles for quite a while, Leo. This is one of those things where it's like, um, someone's like, okay, this is feels too good to be true, right? You're just like, what is going on here? Like, uh, it's almost like you're expecting the ball to drop and something to happen, right? It's something like you're, you don't want to fully let something in because it's just like, it's like, ah, this cannot seem, this cannot be this easy. This cannot work out this in such a way. The, um, Ten of Pentacles speaks of stability. The Ten of Pentacles speaks on just overall abundance. The Ten of Pentacles is just like, waking up and just feeling content and fulfilled in what it is that you're doing, right? You're just, there's some type of situation in your life this week that, um, I really do see this as like a progression, Leo, and that things are just, it's almost just like a weight starting to be lifted, Leo. Um, it's almost like you have your this week you're starting to wake up every single day and not having to um, put in as much effort or it's not as much of a struggle perhaps Leo of um, things just coming so hard for you I guess is what I'm trying to say because I just do see a lot of abundance a lot of stability in for you you get a lot of um, you have a lot of pentacle cards, which pentacle cards are earth cards, which is always talking about just manifestation and things in like the earthly realms itself. Um, and it just speaks on, what is the word? Stability. So um, very interesting with this 10 of rings. I feel like this is more so just foreshadowing um, things happening in your life this week that are just going to bring forth a lot of stability in your life, a lot of satisfaction, a lot of where it's just like a lot of situations finally having their harvest point. Like, I feel like you're finally starting to reach the harvest point with some of the things that you have been um, working quite hard on for quite a while, Leo. So let's just celebrate yourself for that, right, Leo? I have like a new rule on my channel, Leo. It's just like, 
we can feel our feelings, right? We can feel those like struggles. We can feel like all those heaviness, all that heaviness, that anxiety, that stress, that depression, honey. But we're going to be optimistic, right? We're going to celebrate our victories because it's like, if we're going to feel like those intense, like sometimes heavy feelings, we're going to trust and believe, honey, be experiencing, experiencing those intense, happy feelings as well. And in fact, celebrate them, right? Because it is an accomplishment when we're able to um, have good things happen in our lives, no matter how big or small. Um, so we have an extra card that came out for you as well, Leo, which is the Eight of Cups. So it does seem to be with this situation here that some of your happiness is associated with putting distance between yourself and something else from the past. Um, now, I do kind of want to pull some cards on this, Leo. I do want to see what is up with this, right? Mm. Uh, do not mind me today, Leo. I am feeling so grody. <laughs> you know, you just have those days where you just wake up, Leo, and you just feel like... I just feel like a potato. And I say this now that I have, like... I think, I think it's like an old... <laughs> I'm a mess, Leo. I'm apologize. <laughs> All right. So the clarifier, Knight of Cups, when it comes to this Eight of Cups situation. So it does seem to be um, something that you initially put a lot of energy into. You're finally um, putting distance between it. Now, is this about a person, though? Seven of Pentacles with this. This, ah, with this Knight of Cups, it kind of like has me leaning towards, Leo, that you're putting distance between like a person you're like you're just making space it, that's maybe what it is you're making space it's almost just like with especially yeah with the seven of wands now that i'm thinking about this more it makes sense that you're just making space um and like seems like putting distance and clearing out on things where that hasn't just been serving you in some type of way leo right things maybe not necessarily inherently like directly working against you leo that i see yourself that i see you putting some distance in between you and that um but more so it's just like you're acknowledging stuff that you've kept in your in your life at this current point and feeding energy into has really like slowed your progress or like m has made like your um your space just too uh, cluttered, right? You're kind of realizing you have to clear things out and welcome in new things into your life that feed that Ten of Rings situation for you, right? That feed that stability, right? If it is about a person, right, with the other Ten of Pentacles, right, you look in this card, maybe you're just increasing your circle, a uh, social circle. Maybe you're improving your social circle, right? Uh, maybe, Leo, you're just in a situation now where it's just like, you know what? You're done just surrounding yourself with stuff that just isn't of your, um, that isn't feeding, feeding, rather, good energy into you, Leo. You know, this could be a situation of where it's just like, um, you know, maybe at one point, Leo, you were just around, you were in an, in an environment of, you know, surrounded by like tech people, for example, right? Maybe you were an engineer, <laughs> Leo, at one point, and you just always surrounded yourself with just other engineers. And now I see you kind of acknowledging, being like, uh, I should probably not just surround myself with one type of person. I probably should like expand my horizons in some way. And you know, it's kind of like you're done putting all your ducks in one row, all eight of your ducks in one row, and you're kind of like dispersing um, those ducks, right? And really um, exploring other things um, that bring you happiness. I do see this as a time of exploration for you, uh, Leo. I do see this as a time of where it's just like, the more you just clear out from like your old ways, like your old habits, your old, um, just old in general, you know, it's kind of like taking a, doing like, it's just like a keep hearing spring cleaning to make space for new because you have this ace of pentacles as well. Leo so it's just like you keep on getting these cards of just like abundance you keep getting these cards of where it's just like your hands are being kept busy right with other things um your hands are already full and now it's like I don't know I just see this as such a and all this just feels like new energy I don't really there's nothing here that's signifying um 
anything that you've been currently putting energy into, which is kind of strange, Aries, just because it's like, uh, I just called you Aries right there, Leo. <laughs> I apologize. It's strange, Leo, because it's like with these Ten of Pentacles, this is like, I mean, I said it earlier, it's kind of like the prophet, um, not prophet, it's like the harvest card. And so it's just like, it's interesting that you're kind of just like seemingly like walking in to a situation that is um, already ready to be harvested. It sounds so weird, but it's like, you know, this could be, this Ace of uh, Pentacles is usually viewed as like the cornucopia card. So it's kind of like you walked into a situation, you walked into a cornucopia. Um, so basically like a really good situation that like gives you a lot of like, I want to say immediate results, uh, Leo, but I'm always kind of, I'm hesitant to just because it's like with pentacle cards, um, it is like the sign that is probably, or the element that is probably seen as like the slowest forward moving one, still forward movement, but the slowest one, like a consistent slow pace. But it's just like with all these pentacle cards, you know, this usually speaks, pentacles doesn't usually speak on, um, I mean, it does because it's tarot, Leo, but it usually speaks on like earthly mat like things that are already like tangible i guess we'll say leo and so that's kind of wanna why i want to say it's like you start dabbling into something new um page of water speaks of new right um and it's like by dabbling into that new thing like you immediately see positive results from it so what I would be saying, Leo, I guess what I'm trying to say rather, Leo, is especially with the Sun card as well and the Queen of Pentacles, like this all just seems to be about Leo this week taking, uh, dabbling into just new things, dabbling into um, releasing old stuff, but just dabbling into new things because it's just like, there does seem to be this push, Leo, from spirit of just including like inviting new energies into your space because that seems to be like something new seems to be like the most um the next part of like your chapter in your path does that make sense um so keep your eyes peeled this week um but let's lean into that a little bit more actually um Leo, because we're now going to be getting into the blessings that you can expect this week, Leo. And I kind of do feel like the blessing is kind of correlated with that, to be honest. So maybe we can get a little bit more insight. I do just get the sense though, Leo, where it's just like such a week of where it's just like you want to welcome in new energies. Truly. Um, so let's start pulling some cards uh, because I just feel like it's some like a new path, like just something new this week really plays a pivotal role pivotal role in your life leo i don't know it's such a strange it's just i can't i wish i could explain the feeling that i'm getting leo because <laughs> i don't usually have that get this sense but um it's something good though i don't want this to sound ominous because you have the magician card that i'm looking at right here as well um, as the focal point as, of this energy. So yeah, uh, Leo, definitely manifesting, definitely bringing stuff into your life. And Leo, come on now, this is confirming it to me. You, the Ten of Pentacles is following you. Leo, this is the third time so far, Leo, that you've gotten the Ten of Pentacles. Why am I yelling at you? <laughs> Leo, you are definitely bringing some stuff into your life. You are definitely page of coins comes in as um pentacle being offered to you so it's just like maybe that um that ace of pentacles you know it's that cornucopia it's like a cornucopia is like invited to you or is offered to you it's like communication is offered to you the judgment card comes in maybe you're not sure um leo that you're ready for it maybe you should you're worried about um really taking action and grabbing up at this or maybe even taking action towards bringing something new into your life, manifesting something new into your life because of old things, right? Because of this Ten of Swords, where it's just like you have like these old wounds that you haven't fully addressed, Leo. So that's kind of what I was implying from before. It's just like, keep your eyes peeled, Leo, for new things or new energy this week and just keep your eyes peeled for like who or what would be offering this cornucopia to you or that um, the, this pentacle to you, Leo. Um, because I feel like what, this is just a hunch, Leo, but it does seem to be like, 
what would potentially really stop this in its tracks is you, like unaddressed trauma, like unaddressed issues, um, Leo. So really um, reflect on your emotions this week. Look at um, how, <sighs> I don't know. It's just with this 10 of swords and that judgment card, Leo, it just has me just like, uh, I don't want Leo to mess this up, man. I don't want Leo to mess this up. Right, I feel like there's just could be this sense of like um self sabotage in some way. Mm. Let's see, let's see though, Leo. Let's see, let's see what these clarifiers. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, the Moon card, and then the uh, Ace of Wands. Mm -hmm. So you are going to overcome this. I do see this like. How do we break this down? We'll put the Ace of Wands back to the side over here and we'll address this at the very end. But with this Two of Wands, this Three of Wands, and this Moon card, I do feel like they're connected in some way. I do feel like this is like a connected message, Leo, in that um, Two of Wands represents like thinking about like, like your next step, right? You know, this individual's holding a globe or holding the world, essentially, I guess, technically. And they are trying to figure out where it is that they want to go next. What is their next right move, right? We you know, all again, new, right? You, you're going somewhere new because if you weren't going somewhere new, you wouldn't need to be looking so closely at this world. You're kind of, you know, at this globe, right? If you're going to somewhere familiar, you wouldn't need that because you've already been there. So that's another signification, something else signifying rather Leo that you're going into something new, you're leaning into something and leaning into something new. Now with this dynamic, this is where it's interesting. And this is again where I'm saying you have to keep your eyes peeled, Leo, because with the moon card and the three of wands, this is like <sighs> this is like breadcrumbs being dropped for you, as I like to say. Or, like, signs of things being, like, like, spirits trying to show you direction of where it is being, like, that you should lean into, Leo. But you have to be looking for it, right? With the moon card, it's just, like, things are working out. Things are working um, in such a way in your life that they're not, um, I don't want to say that you're not aware of it. But it's just, like, how would I put this? Let's speak in an example, Leo, let's say that you want to go to, like, you're searching for, like, a new opportunity in some type of way, right? And then you, there's, like, a situation in, like, someone in, like, your friend group, for example, um, Leo, that is setting up and planning on moving to California, right? But you wouldn't know that unless you were to be, like, actively involved in your friend's life, in your friend's life's this week where it's just like you're talking to them um they're setting up they're planning and setting up for this random like sporadic trip to california and it's like through that opportunity going to california you're just like oh you're going to california right i didn't know that let me let me tag along because right now you already were considering trying to travel you wanted to travel in some type of way so if you're already traveling honey you know don't mind if i do it's in that way does that make sense? And I'm not saying, like, a fr pay attention to, like, your friends. Um, Leah, I mean, obviously pay attention to your friends. But it's, like, it's in that sense of where you wouldn't ever have considered going to California unless you were, like, p actively paying attention to the signs, right? Because, like, I feel like once you're able to hone in, like, once you're able to find the breadcrumb, right, as I always say, um, you won't have problems leaning into it and identifying it. Ace of Wands that we were talking about before, I do just see you really leaning into this, leaning forward into this, um, forward movement into this. So truly, but I feel like this is only happening, this only happens if you're able to identify that breadcrumb, right? If you're able to um, pay attention and see... Um, see where it is that you're trying to be led to, see the opportunity that is kind of showing up in some way for you. See if you're able to find that cornucopia. Whew, what an interesting le reading for you, Leo. I'm going to close this off with one more card. Spirit of Rings. <laughs> y'all, Leo, y'all got nothing but pentacles and wands. 
not a complaint, but very insane, 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 insane. So Spirit of Rings, this is a card of productivity. I mean, you've had this card before already, right? The Spirit of Rings is the, I'm pretty sure, the Ace of Pentacles. It's either the Ace of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles. I'm pretty sure it's the Page of Pentacles. No, it's actually, it's the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> um, so I don't feel like I need to go into this more. This just speaks heavily, again, on a cornucopia, going up to a mountain and claiming that prize. Right? Remember this magician card. The magician is the master of your own reality. You are in complete control of this, Leo. This is completely up to you at this point. No pressure, honey. But this Ten of Pentacles, definitely waiting for you, Leo. Definitely waiting to be claimed by you. So uh, definitely let me know how things go for you this week, Leo. That is the cards that I have for you, Leo. If you did enjoy this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones did, which cards resonated with you the most. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, my beautiful Leo. And then be sure to share my videos with, with a friend, Leo, that you think might be into my tarot messages. Until next time, though, my beautiful Leo, I love you so much. Bye.